Our Prime Minister Kishida has been on this whirlwind tour of almost or most of the G7 countries, I should say, and it's culminated in this key U.S. trip. What is really top of the agenda and what is Kishida hoping to get out of it? Yes, well, I think for Prime Minister Kishida, what you have to remember is that this comes just a few weeks after Japan announced this unprecedented overhaul of its national security policy in December, including a 60 percent defense spending increase over five years. So while that, that policy has been relatively popular at home, it has been quite severely criticized by China, for example, and, and there are concerns about how the government's going to pay for it. So um, Kishida will be really looking for a public endorsement from Joe Biden as the leader of Japan's only former ally to sort of help convince voters that what he's planning will make them safer ultimately. Um, at the moment, the, the situation um, Kishida is facing in Japan is, is far from positive. Um, real incomes are falling because of the highest inflation in 40 years. There's been a string of scandals in, Kishida, in Kishida's cabinet, and his support is around its lowest level since he took office. But I think another thing he's hoping for is, is a boost in terms of publicity. He'll be in the media for positive reasons for, for having a meeting with Joe Biden and, and really representing Japan on the global stage. And of course, Kishida is the first foreign leader President Biden has welcomed to the White House in 2023. What is, what is really the White House wanting to get out of this, this conversation then? Right. Well, I mean, I think we have seen already from the, from the two plus two that, um, that the U.S. does want to welcome what Japan's doing with defense. And um, indeed, it came up with this plan to extend their alliance into space, which is a, a kind of a promise almost to defend J Japan's space assets in some cases, which is, which is quite an important thing, I think, for Japan in terms of missile defense and so on. But one of the top issues for the U.S. government is seeking support from allies around the world on, its, on restricting exports to China of uh, semiconductors and equipment for making advanced uh, semiconductors. Um, obviously, the U.S.'s own restrictions won't be completely effective if it doesn't have those other major high-tech economies in the mix. And while we're not expecting any public announcement on that at this meeting, it will very much be on the agenda, um, uh, not only at this meeting with Prime Minister Kishida, but also with um, the Prime Minister of the Netherlands, who will be visiting in the, in the near future.